All right, guys, so here we are on the S3 documentation and we're looking at the Create Bucket API. Um, buckets are kind of the bread and butter of S3. Um, you can think of them like a folder in Windows. Uh, it's gonna be the place that has a name that you're gonna be storing your files. So much like you would organize all of your pictures or all your uh, family photos in a photo album, uh, your folder or your bucket in S3 terms is gonna be the location where you store a bunch of files that are all kind of related to each other. And how they're related is, is pretty much up to you. It could be data files, could be images, could be blobs, could be whatever you want. But uh, creating your bucket is really gonna be the first step for anyone that gets started with S3, because without a bucket, you can't do much else. Um, so later I'll show you how to put an object in there. Uh, so here we are with the documentation. So we're just seeing that it's describing uh, creates a new bucket. Uh, and the, the thing to note here, if you're using this programmatically through the API, is that when you're making the request, uh, it says here, you must register with S3 and have a valid AWS access key ID to authenticate with requests. Uh, so you need a user that has the create bucket permission, the IAM permission, to do this programmatically. However, if you're doing this through the console, then you don't need such permissions. You can just log in and click a few buttons and you'll pretty much be done. Uh, but since this is kind of a tutorial on how to use the APIs, uh, I'll just kind of describe what you need here. And you just need an access key ID that you pass into the S3 client. Um, so... If we scroll a little bit down here, what else do we see? So by default, the buckets are created in a region, US East 1, which is uh, North Virginia. Um, optionally, you can select a region that may be closer to where you're serving this S3 from. Uh, you'll get better speeds and you won't have um, data transfer costs to kind of deal with. Anyways, I don't think there's much more important stuff here. There's some um, mention of ACL, so it's sent for access control list to say who can kind of read this file, but this is all about permissions and everything. So I'm not gonna really go into this in this video, but I will show you what it looks like um, from the SDK perspective, if you're interacting with this API using uh, Node.js. So here's an example of how to interact and create a bucket called example bucket in this guy um, using the AWS SDK for Node.js. So uh, what we're seeing here is we're defining a object with a key name bucket and the name being the value. Uh, we're using the S3 object and they don't actually show you here and you may have to scroll up when you're looking through this, but this, this object, this S3, uh, corresponds to the S3 client that uh, you're gonna be performing all your requests with. So you can see here, we're calling the create bucket API and we're passing in that params object, which is this guy right here. And then we're passing a callback function that takes an error and data. Um, so if error is true, then you, you kind of console log the, the error object, uh, else you console log the success object, which is data in this case. And then the success is just gonna tell you the location of where this bucket is. And keep in mind, you can have like some nested locations here. So you can have slashes and all that to create subfolders here. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.